Today's topic is Cognitive Behavior Therapy by Lindsay McLaughlin Angelo State University. Good morning everyone, let's start our lesson today. We will begin with the history of Cognitive Behavior Therapy. Around the 1960s, Albert Ellis and Aaron Beck helped to create Cognitive Behavior Therapy. Albert Ellis was known for a type of cognitive therapy termed Rational Emotive Behavior Therapy or EBG. This therapy is based on an individual's unique view of himself or herself and the world around them. However, some individuals experience irrational views that alter their interpretation of experiences. To help individuals with their irrational views Albert Ellis used the ABC technique of irrational beliefs during his CBT sessions. The A is for activating event, B for belief, and C for consequences. Ellis determined that the A activating event did not cause the C consequence but their B irrational beliefs did. Aaron Beck's style of cognitive behavior is comparable to Albert Ellis with the belief that an individual's destructive thoughts are what caused their problems. Beck also identified three instruments responsible for depression the cognitive triad, negative schemas, and errors in logic. Beck found there to be several different types of errors in logic that could cause a person anxiety or depression. These included arbitrary interference, selective abstraction, magnification, minimization, overgeneralization, and personalization. The most significant proponent of cognitive behavior therapy is changing individuals' feelings towards a situation by finding ways to alter their behaviors and thoughts. Techniques within the cognitive behavior therapy theory are psychoeducation, cognitive restructuring, sentence completions, if then questionnaires, relaxation training, contingent reinforcement, and case conceptualization. Cognitive behavior therapy has been proven to help individuals suffering from anxiety, assertiveness, caregiver burden, coping, depression, eating disorders, grief bereavement, obsessive compulsive disorders, social isolation, trauma. In recent research, studies have shown the cognitive behavior therapy has proven to be effective in about 80% of the adults who undergo this type of treatment. This concludes our lesson. See you again for our next topic.